Hey guys, Namaste Ashe Ashe. So I'm making this video today. Oh. Um, is to talk about everything. Basically everything, kind of. Not really about my twin flame. Um, I'm gonna be talking about just you know life and family and shit like that. And um, I just want to say you know I just came back from not. A couple of days ago, came back from, um, you know, visiting, you know, a family member, and it's just, it's just, you know, it's fucked up, and you know, and it's sad that you know your own fucking sibling, somebody you grew up with, like your sister, brother, you know, your sister, not my brother, I love, I love my brother, you know, it's so, she's so defensive argument argumentative and it's like she's miserable you understand and it's just like i was out there you know i didn't want to go out there but i went out there for my daughter you know and plus my brother and my cousins and my nephew and my nieces you know and it just and it's just like it's sad you know it's sad they live they live all the way in fucking ohio slow ass boring ass prejudiced ass racist ass motherfucking town Okay, and it's sad that you know you 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 move from New York to go better your life somewhere else, and it's not better, you know. Or oh, everybody's scattered. My knee, one niece is here, one niece is there. They not fucking friends. They have no family there. They don't have no friends. I mean, they have school friends, but they don't have no real. They don't have no family there. You understand? You get a house, you move out here, and it's just like, what the fuck is really going on? You know, it's sad. It's sad that you know I'm not I'm not close to my sister. She's a fucking bitch. She she kept thinking I was saying that she was stealing my stuff. You understand? She um I asked her like where a charge my charge. I'm like, oh that's my call. You know, New York we talk different. Uh it's not your call. She ready to argue and be defensive, like she guilty. And then you know when it was time for me to go, make a long story short, ask for some. This been going on throughout the years, guys. All right, but this was the final straw. I wanted to get some pictures of my deceased mom and grandmother. You know, I took a copy of me. She didn't want me to take a copy of me. She didn't want me to take a copy, a picture, a copy of fucking me. And that was fucking it. She started throwing my pictures on the floor. Told me suck a dick and die. You understand? And I told her she's already dead. Because she's not conscious, she's not woke, she don't have no type of enlightenment, she don't do nobody's research, she fucking, and while we there, you understand, spring break, okay, you're not working, no problem, but you not, I'm not gonna be in my fucking house watching motherfucking Hulu shows, okay, every fucking day, not reading to my child, you understand, my nephew, she wasn't reading to him, writing down no problems, nothing with him, doing nothing, just yelling at him, hitting him. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you wanted a boy so fucking bad for what? For what? I don't understand. You wanted kids for what? To raise them? Because you, you raised them for them to, to kick them out the fucking house? For them to run away? All right? The house situation, the house is, is a hot mess. All right? It's a hot fucking mess. And I don't, I don't think nobody should be living there. All right? It's a hot fucking mess. She fucking, you, you know, you gave up a fucking section eight program assistance program that that that's able to help you with your bills and you understand you can move anywhere in the fuck united states her fucking baby father talked her into that fucking dumbass you ain't that fucking smart because who the fuck who the fuck in the world bitch